Chapter 10, section 6 is entitled Volumes of Prisms and Cylinders. Start with the definition of volume. Volume is defined as the amount of space a solid occupies. The amount of space a solid occupies. The amount of space a solid occupies. We're not talking about now just the faces, because that's what we've been talking about so far. We've just talked about the surface area. It's each part of it added together. Now we're talking about the volume, how much total space the solid occupies. Not its weight, how much space it takes up. Now if you're trying to find the volume of an irregularly sized shape, let's say you're trying to find the volume of some rock. Okay, we'll go for a rock. Right? Usually what you do is, because it's irregular, you find a graduated cylinder, you fill it with some liquid, you drop the rock in, you see how much liquid is displaced, and that turns out to be the volume. But we can't, we're not doing that here because these are regular sizes. And with regular sizes, we have formulas, which is what makes this work so well for us. So at the bottom of that column, you can see the formulas. Formula for volume of a prism is B times H. B times H. Where B is the area of the base, and H is the height. B is the area of the base. H is the height. And that's stuff we've had already in the formulas. The other formula is volume of a cylinder. Volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h, where pi equals 3.14, r equals the radius, and h equals the height. And those two are things we've all had in formulas already. And cylinder is b equals pi r squared h, where pi equals 3.14, R equals the radius, and H equals the height. I will tell you right now, as you probably guessed, the quiz that you're going to have this week on Friday is going to be very formula heavy. Surface area and volume, all that stuff is going to make the quiz this week on Friday. When we get to the quiz, I will give you the formulas. However, on the final exam, I will not give you the formulas because you have a review guide, and that's what you should be using it for. So it's important when you're making your review guide, the one that's due today, that you make sure you're writing all these formulas down, and make sure you label which formula is which. Make sure you label which one is surface area and which one is volume, because you'll quickly come into problems if you don't know which one is which, especially when you have to fill in the correct one. Again, prism, V equals BH, area of base times height. Cylinder, pi R squared H, pi is 3.14. Radius is R, H is height. All right, the examples are set up just like they have been all along when we've done these sections. Top of the board has got all your prisms. Bottom of the board has the cylinders. Example six uses both in a comparison. Let's start with example one. Example one is a prism. Now remember, when we're talking about a prism, ideally the base is going to be whatever it's sitting on. Well, that means, as you can see, the base is going to be this bottom here. So that's the, two comp that's the main component we need here. Where volume equals base times height. B is going to be 8 times 5. 8 times 5 is, of course, 40. And H is the height, the other number here, which in this case is 13. So I'm doing 40 times 13. 40 times 13 is 520. And that's going to be meters cubed. Volume uses units cubed. Area uses units squared. So make sure, and it is kind of difficult sometimes because it seems like you're just mingling all these together. But your areas or your answers today are volume, so we're looking at units cubed today. Alright, 
Example two is yet another prism, very similar. And again, I've just started by writing out the formula of the new. Start with the area of the base. Again, the base in this case is going to be the bottom, this piece there. So that piece is going to be 12 by 9. 12 by 9 is 108. Height, that's the height of the entire prism. That's the other number, this side here. As you can see, that's going to be the 4 inch number. So I'm doing 108 times 4. 108 times 4 is 432, and that's going to be inches cubed. Alright, example 3 is a triangular prism. And it's laying face down. So if you have to, you're going to have to think of it like this, where the triangle becomes the base. All right, now this is one of those problems that gets a little confusing because we've got to start with the area of the triangular piece. Well, the area of the triangle is one half times its base times its height. That's the formula for area of a triangle. So right now, just consider the triangle. Now, the base of the triangle would generally be what we most of us would look at to be the bottom of the triangle. So that's going to be this 15 number. Its height, its height is going to be the tall, taller side of the standing up part for most of us, the 8 number. And of course, 1 half is in there, 2. So you've got half of 15 times 8 for the area of the base. Well, that's the same as 4 times 15. 4 times 15 is 60. So we did all that work to find that capital B equals 60. Now, I'm still going to multiply that by the height talking about the height of the whole shape. Now remember, right now as it is on the board, it's laying down. But we're thinking of it like this. So the height of the whole shape is going to be this way. Well, if it's laying down, then it's the number that's going this way. So that's your 20 centimeter. So you've got 60 times 20, that's 1,200. And that's going to be centimeters cubed. bottom of the board, we've got the cylinders. And kind of like we've had so many other days here, the cylinder is the one I perceive to be the easier of the two. Not that the prism is all that hard here. Really, the prism, when it's square, remote or rectangular or square prism, cube, we're doing length times the width times the height, basically. Not a big deal. Right? But the cylinder, this is, again, as we've had